Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to be setting up a compound light microscope for use. Specifically, we're going to be looking at setting up color illumination. In order to do color illumination, you first need to get a slide into focus. And so I have a slide into the microscope here. The small intestine, in case you're curious. I'm just going to get it into focus. This is probably as good as it's going to get. And so now what I want to do is I want to start adjusting my lighting system, my condenser lens assembly. Okay. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to close off the field iris diaphragm. Okay. So this is the light source, the lamp housing has a small knob, a ring at the end, at the bottom. And when I turn it, it's going to reduce the amount of light that's passing through by closing up a condenser. And as what you can see here is as I do this, there's a spot of light that is kind of traveling towards one side of my field of view under the microscope. Now, that basically means that my condenser lens assembly is out of uh, alignment. Now, as I close it completely, I can see that there's a bit of light at the top edge of my field of view, uh, but that's about it. And so I need to put that spot of light a little closer to the middle, okay? And in order to do that, I'm going to use these two screws Okay, these are the adjustment knobs, uh, so the centering controls for the condenser. So I'm going to take these two and start turning them. If I start to notice that bit of light coming closer towards the middle, that's what I'm seeing right now here in the field of view, but it's not very focused. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to focus the condenser lens. And to do that, I'm going to use the condenser lens focusing knob on the side here. So you'll see on the side there's a coarse focus and the fine focus knob, but right next to it is also a condenser lens assembly focusing knob. And so this knob here is going to allow me to get this thing into a bit more focus. Now my camera is not really focusing very well, unfortunately. Okay, and so what I'm trying to get is try I'm trying to get a nice sharp sort of um, hexagon hexagon I guess and try to get this into the middle of my field of view. I'm going to open up the the field iris uh, diaphragm a little bit just so I can see it a bit more clearly on the, on the camera okay and so you can see now that we have this shape and relatively sharp edges at this point and again the sharpness of those edges is controlled by this um, the, the diaphragm, sorry, not the diaphragm, the condenser focusing knob. So the fo condensing focusing knob allows me to get into focus. So again, this is out of focus. And again, I'm going to use the condenser focusing knob to get it into focus. So I'm going to turn it until I see sharp edges on this shape. Now you'll notice that there's a bit of a color bleed. So there's a bit of a kind of a purple edge to this. And I can use this um, uh, iris condenser iris, iris diaphragm control. So the diaphragm, the condenser also has a diaphragm, and so you can control how much light passes through that. And so by just sliding this controller across, usually we use that to control the the contrast on our slide. In this case here, that helps me to kind of get rid of some of that bleed. And so that's what I'm seeing here. I get rid of some of that color at the edge. If I go too far, I get a different color showing up on the wrong edge. So I'm going to just kind of move it over until I don't really see too much bleed through. And so at this point what I have is a fairly well focused shape. Again, this is just my camera not quite responding to having that much light passing through. Okay, so I'm going to open this up a little bit. And one of the things that you'll notice now is that if you look at the bottom right, the corner of this shape is just touching the field of view, the edge of the field of view on this, um, in this particular slide, but the top is a w pretty far away from the edge. So I need to center this shape, and so what I'm going to do again is I'm going to use these uh, centering, um, centering controls, these screws on the sides of the condenser lens to kind of move it around until it gets a bit more centered that's a little bit closer and again I'm going to open up the field iris diaphragm a little bit more just to get this shape to open up a bit more to see if I need to center it some more and so what we can see right now is that pretty much all of the corners of this shape 
are touching the edges of the field of view at the same time. So now we can consider this to be centered and I can open up the field that I was done from completely and I'm going to get the best possible view of my slide at this point. Okay. So again, just a quick review. First thing you're going to do is you're going to focus your lens. Uh, sorry, no, you're going to focus your slide. The next thing you're going to do is you are going to close off the field iris diaphragm. Okay. Now again, if your condenser is out of focus and off center, you may see something like this. Okay, in which case it's going to be your job to get it focused. So again, we're going to be using the um, the condenser focusing knob on the side here to help us adjust the focus until we have, can see sh uh, sh uh, sharp edges to this shape. Again, I'm going to have to open up the field iris diaphragm just a little bit so I can see the shape a bit more clearly. And so at this point here, I can see nice sharp edges. Okay. And now that I can see the sharp edges, I know that the diaphragm, diaphragm is focused, not the diaphragm, sorry. I know that the condenser is focused. And so I can now go ahead and use these centering controls to help me adjust the location of this shape until it's in the middle. And again, I can try to open the field iris diaphragm a little bit more to help me figure out if I'm in the center or not. And then I can make fine controls with the centering controls and then I can make fine adjustment with the centering controls and then open up my field of view. Okay, so that's cold elimination. You should be doing that every time you sit down at a microscope just to make sure that you have the best possible view of your slide. Okay, see you next video.